And we know again, this is a scene that's playing out across Northeast Ohio. We want to get now to Remy Murray. She has been out and about with cleanup and restoration crews as they try their best to clean up from the storms and restore power. She joins us now live from the east side <coughs> and Remy, these crews working there since the storms rolled through the area. We're so grateful for them. Yeah, Katie, we've been here in Willoughby Hills for quite some time now, and the crews actually have power restored at a main road. But just behind me, you can see this down power line where there's still work that needs to be done. Now, we are here in Willoughby Hills because when we were out in Kirtland, our service, it did not work. And there are obvious reasons, which you'll see as to why we had no service. It didn't last That's long, quick. but it sure did a lot of damage. Nearing more than 24 hours after Tuesday's massive storm. We haven't we seen this type of uh, storm before like this. No, not in such a large area. We're getting a closer look at just how powerful those wind gusts were that swept through communities like Kirtland and Chester Township. And we've had others that blew, but this one was just all there and then nothing. And it did all this damage. Thankfully, Jan and her husband, Joseph Kostrav, say their house is all in one piece. The house is fine. The deck needs some repair. But unfortunately, that's not the same case for their next door neighbor. We just put on the new front deck, uh, finished it last summer, so it's, it's gone. It's completely collapsed by the big maple. And uh, our basement flooded. Yeah, a ch uh, part of our roof is chipped on the other side. Well, Amy Duffy tells me she said parts of her home have now been destroyed. It was very, very scary. She says she's thankful her village is stepping in to help her clean up the mess. My neighbor's house has all got hit. My sister's house got hit. Everybody's without power, but you know, it kind of brings everybody closer together. Now, as Katie mentioned, there is damage just about everywhere. We've been all across Northeast Ohio today, and the cleanup crews, they are steadily working to get to different residents' homes to restore order. So as those people living in Kirtland said, they are hopeful order will be restored soon so they can have power, drink water, and just get back to their regular way of life. Back to you all in the studio.